On Wednesday, May 6, 2015, Lincoln, Nebraska was blanketed with more than six and a half inches of rain overnight. The longevity of the rain caused massive flooding throughout the city. Hawks Field at Haymarket Park was no exception. The stadium's drainage system discharged into Salt Creek, which received seven feet above flood stage and prevented normal gravity drainage, leaving the baseball field covered with standing water. On the morning of May 7th, the athletic turf manager, Josh Clutie, and his five-member grounds crew found more than six inches of runoff water, drowning the turf of Hawks Field with adjacent flooded parking lots threatening to flow onto the field. A three-game University of Nebraska versus Purdue series was scheduled just two days out. The coaching staff was trying to locate an alternative venue for the game series. However, all options were either booked or also flooded. Josh looked at their field and wondered how they would be able to remove the water. As the flood waters continued to rush the field, Josh contacted the Subair technical team and provided pictures of what he was dealing with and asked for advice. The two words he heard said it all, run it. This recommendation was to get the Subair sports system running in vacuum mode. Convinced that the system could handle the huge amount of water, Josh and his crew developed a plan. The groundskeepers quickly sandbagged the parking lot entrance ramp to block the water's access to the field. Once the field was secured, the crew used surface pumps to begin removing the standing water. The subair sports system was activated and first needed to clear the overwhelmed drainage system. Using electric pumps in the air water separator, water was forced out to the overrun Salt Creek. As the water in the separator reached a safe operating level, the subair sports system would automatically activate in the vacuum mode pulling any remaining surface water through the field's subsurface drain system. 48 hours ago, Nebraska baseball was weighing their options for an alternative home field for this weekend series with Purdue. But the Haymarket finally cleaned up and Hawks Field was ready to play some ball. The Subair Sports System successfully removed all of the standing water on the field and most of the excess moisture in the soil. Josh and his crew were able to resume the normal maintenance and get the field back into playing condition for a game that was less than 24 hours away. Due to their hard work and the resourceful use of the Subair Sports System, the field was ready to host a three-game series. In recognition of the tremendous effort to recover from the flood, Josh threw out the first pitch at exactly 12.05 p.m. Saturday, May 9th. To learn more about Subair Systems and the benefits that we can provide, contact us at 866-641-6663. Find us on the web at www.subairsystems.com.